<laughs> Should we start off with the, the elephant in your pants? I mean, in the room! So, hi guys. The last few times we've hung out, I... This car is so loud. This is horrible. The cars are loud. I can't loud. believe how fast the sun moved. The cars so are loud hard. and the sun is moving. Like, it's literally so hard to be a vlogger. Um, so the last time we hung out, I was maybe experiencing mania. I mean, everyone does it. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't know. So we wanted to like do a complimentary video to that and actually be calm. I mean, we're not, we're not known for that, <laughs> but I think that if we put an intention towards like being calm and like serene and like, that's why I'm sitting down. Um, we can pretend. I we could come across as multifaceted people. Oh my god, see, this is why I have him here. Today we're going to North Beach, uh, Nestor's favorite place in San Francisco. It's part two of our joint series where mm. we explore the San Francisco and show you guys the beautiful parts of our city before it's too late. <laughs> I don't even know what North Beach is, honestly. I thought it was Ocean Beach a second ago, but I, I guess it's north of the beach. Um, we have a lot to talk about today. I have a crazy story about saving someone's life. Um, Nestor's having a sexual awakening, and what um, the fuck? Are you? Oh. <laughs> and we want to talk about the dangers of of too much feminine energy. Um, I guess we'll see you on Muni. <laughs> it's obvious, but we're already we're already here. <laughs> we're already here. But but Nestor made reroll of the Muni, and it was it was it's so cool. And we just we, we forgot to record before we got on the Muni, so. We're trying to pretend that like we're still at, in our hometown, but no, we're, we're here, so... I just didn't want to get canceled for lying. So we, um, every, all the streets are blocked off, so we're like, how are we gonna get there? But I guess the... Oof. Fuck. I haven't done this in a while. So all the streets are blocked off. Um, we just asked this nice man on the street to like, what, what's going on? And I guess it's like a walk, walk for life. Um, the walk for life parade's happening. There is a lot of echo here. Are we going to the parade or? No. I don't even know where we're going. Nessa, can you tell us where we're going? Transamerica parade, that's right across the... Scientology building. The Transamerica period, right? That's right across the Scientology building. That's literally us if we were building. <laughs> okay, I guess see you there. Here's the thing. North Beach starts like off Broadway. Broadway's a couple of, of blocks up, but the mood changes here. This gigantic ass. No reason to be so big. So I guess we're going to a coffee shop. We'll be like Emma Chamberlain fish. <laughs> it's the Scientology building. Is this the Transamerica building? Yes. Oh my god, twin! It's the Scientology, Tom Cruise. Right. Don't tell Leah Remini we're here. We should go take the test. What is the Scientology test? They just quiz you and tell you what, why your life is wrong. Do we need to test the test? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now. Do they like trans people? Who, do who does? That was a stupid question. Your little lounge, your favorite little lounge here. Oh my god, that's Barbosa Lounge? Oh my god! We've gone over this five times. I like the colors. Oh my god. I hear wedding bells. I've never been over here before. Let's go. First time I actually walked through here, we passed by we passed by the sex shop, we passed by the hustle club, and then there's like this digital arcade. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was like you could go in there and like pay to watch an episode of Seinfeld or something. <laughs> it wasn't quite that. No. It wasn't. Um, North Beach is actually really sunny and beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, Nestor has been telling me that it's his favorite place in the city since he, since I met him. Um, and I guess as <laughs> I guess as a reward for him leaving me for a month, we came to visit. Oh my god! 
Like, like I don't know, like the saloon. There's a plaque right on the front. It's the and oldest bar ever? Did I tell you, old bar in San Francisco. It's, it's a good bar. It's a I want to come bar. visit Thank it. You, yeah. Thank you. Castle. That's so cute. I don't know who, I don't know what the... Oh, but I hope I didn't fuck that up. I think I've seen him before. This isn't the first time I've seen someone juggling along here. It won't be the last. Is this like Little Italy or something? Yeah. Oh my god! I can't believe this is part of our city. This is so cool. You want to sit in here? This is Thank you. It's not a coffee yeah. shop. Now I know. <laughs> and Nestor wants to show his face. Hi, um, can I get an iced coffee, please? Okay. Yeah. Can I get a cappuccino? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. This is cute. Mm -hmm. Last week, I was at a <laughs> I was at a bar in the Castro. I was with like a lot of my friends from like where I live and everyone was like leaving. I was like, I'll just walk home. Like I'm used to walking home in the Castro, but usually I have Nesta with me, walking with me. But he was gone, like I said, remember that? Remember that part? I was walking home and I see someone like stumbling, holding onto another person, some man. And, and the person that was like knocked out almost was like this huge six foot one, like, big old man and I go up to the other guy and I'm like is he okay does you guys need help like is he okay and he goes I don't even know this man and I'm thinking okay so I was really drunk too mind you by the way so I thought I'll just hop in like I'm just that person yeah and so we're carrying him like arm in arm walking walking trying to get him to a taxi the guy is like oh I talked to him in the bar um, he said that his address is this and that he needed help getting home and I was like okay well let's find him a taxi and like we'll go so he's like progressively getting more and more either intoxicated or someone spiked him so he's like less and less walking and so we're like instead of throwing him in I was just like I'll just go with him and hopefully we could just make it there and we can he can like somehow walk into his house and get in so I was like okay then I start feeling very lonely and kind of like scared and freaked out because I'm with this actual stranger in a taxi who is completely incoherent and I just I was literally just walking home so I start getting really emotional and very sad and I start rage texting Nestor <laughs> telling him all kinds of awful things because I was just like sad in the moment thinking why is the one time I'm saving a man's life, Nestor isn't here? Nestor is here every single time I'm in the Castro, but the, the, the one time I want to be the hero, I rage texted him and went off on him. And we'll fast forward to the next day, I, I like sent him a voicemail and then I texted him. I was like, I'm so sorry. It was like a really hard night. Like, I didn't mean to say that to you. I, I knew what was happening. I knew it to, to me, yeah. <laughs> you muted me? Yeah. I'm Aww. sleeping. Sorry. Anyway, so <laughs> he goes, Nestor goes, Oh, no problem, Diva. Like, uh, a queen has to get her hate mail from someone. <laughs> I was like, this is why he's my best friend. Anyway, so we get to the place and we're still in like the bar area. We get to his house. There's still people walking around and going from bar to bar. And I'm just sitting there with this man, this huge man. And I'm in like my Dua Lipa dress and my four inch heels. And he's way too heavy for me. There's this guy that I'm like, I'm trying to flag down every guy. There's a guy who actually comes over and I'm telling you like, this is like 10 minutes in, 10 minutes in for me telling everyone like, I'll give you 20 bucks of his money. to like, come help me. This is really scary, really hard. Like, please help me. And I'm like, we're literally in like the gay area. No one wants to help a little trans girl get a man into it. Well, maybe they thought I was, maybe they thought I was the one that, I don't know what they thought, but they didn't give a fuck about me. So then this guy, his name is Eric. He comes over. I literally have him saved in my phone as Eric Trauma because <laughs> I wanted to remember him. Yeah. He helps me like get get him up and I'm like dropping this man multiple times. The stairs to his building are so high. We're like trying to flag down anyone we can to help us because I'm just not strong enough to help him. We find another guy, the other guy comes. We're all three of us are trying to get this man and then we finally fail because we get up to his gate and his key doesn't work. So we were at somebody else's house. So time is going on and they want to call the ambulance and I'm like, oh, that's so expensive. We're like, I don't want to have him spend $10,000. Just we're literally at his house. So I'm even more stressed out and I sit on the stoop with him. He's like hugging me completely passed out, like completely. And I start bawling. I'm crying. I'm crying. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yes, right here. 
Thank you so much. Beautiful. Oh, yes, please. I appreciate it. Cheers. Ooh, that's hot. Just tap it. What? Mine's hot. And there's, oh, here's the handle. Oh. Cheers. Wait, can you drink some of this? This is like flat. Like, so I can put the cream. Jesus. I definitely can't drink that. Um. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Oh, it's good. Anyways, I start crying because I can't save this man's life. I'm talking for 20 minutes. Me and him are holding each other, me and this stranger. And I'm bawling my eyes out. This is for my BTS. Love that. <laughs> Subscribe to Nestor's channel. He's going to be doing BTS, not the bands, the footage. I mean, if we get some clout. Maybe. Yeah, we, we'll collab, we'll do a vlog with BTS. <laughs> we'll do BTS of the vlog with BTS. So they end up calling the ambulance, the guys, and because clearly, in hindsight, I'm happy they did because I needed to get out of there. Oh, my nails are done by Camille, by the way. And my hair by Aika. Shanti said that I can't have women do my hair and nails for my whole life, and I thought, I don't need that negativity in my life. <laughs> they come, and I'm walking away, and I'm crying all the way home. Crying, crying. I'm hyped up. I'm like terrified and scared and I feel bad for this man that I don't know, but I'm now bonded with him. I'm trauma bonded with him. And I get home and I realize that I have his phone in my pocket and I'm like, well shit. In the morning I wake up and I'm like hungover and I'm like, what am I gonna do with this person's phone? Like, so I get a phone call from a woman and I go, oh, I have this person's phone. And she goes, oh, that's actually my fiance. And I go, oh, and she goes, where were you? Like, where did you find this phone? Like not rude, but like very stern. Like, tell me where you found this phone. And I was like, I'm not about to out this man that was at the gay club. I mean, hopefully they don't watch this. But there's a lot, a lot of reasons why a straight man would be at a gay club. Club. What did why did you what did you say? To no, I said I was walking home from Toad Hall. She doesn't know what Toad Hall is. Okay. And I was like, I was out on the street, so I said there's a long stretch of bars and restaurants, like trying to allude that he could have been at a restaurant. I just don't know where he came from, but I know where he came from. Um, but there's a lot of reasons why a straight man would be at a gay club. Like he just wants a drink, he just wants to hang out, it's a cool club, he's bisexual and they're open, you know, there's a lot of things that it could be. But I was like, today is not the day. She's like, oh, he's right here. Can you help us like piece together tonight? And he goes, I think I was spiked because he woke up in the hospital. And I was like, oh, shit, oh, go to bed. And I was like, that would make sense because you were completely passed out, like more than drunk. And he said that he had one drink, which again, I was like, yeah, girl, you, yes, you did. So then I'm talking to them and I'm like, I have his phone, please come get it, like whenever you want. And they're like, okay, great. And then we come and it's the same man that I was like, oh, it's you, okay, great, I know I know you. He was like, yeah, I feel like I was spiked. Thank, thank you so much for calling the ambulance and saving my life and being the hero. And I thought, my name is Erica Madera. Like, subscribe, you know what I mean? And I won't talk more anymore about them, but um, um, he ended up buying me a pizza. And we ate it. It was good. Nestor would be in LA if I was ever spiked, I'm sure. <laughs> Can you tell us about your sexual awakening? No. Well, I told them that they would. Okay, so we went um, to watch RuPaul's Drag Race last night. <laughs> <laughs> Nestor is bisexual, right? And he, we were talking about how, like, when he's interested in women, he's interested in, like, mature, sometimes older, sometimes not, but just, like, mature, like, uncorruptible, like, have their own sense of identity. You know, if he wants to be a partner. And then when it comes to, like, gay twinks, he wants to brand them. <laughs> it's really funny. Say that. Yeah, he was just pretty. He was a pretty boy. Yeah, it was like a trinket and I wanted it. A trinket? <laughs> uh, the place we were at was Bo. The place that we went to in the Castro video. And they have really pretty twinks there. That's like their whole draw. And like Love Week I was before, there was like this really beautiful twink, Go Go Boy. I love the, how this is a calm vlog and we're like hyped up on coffee talking about twinks. Um, but like I'm having- She's fucking looking for that. Did someone hear me? <laughs> yes. I'm having a twink awakening too. Like they're just so beautiful and Nestor wants to own them. Just one, right? Yeah. I just want him to look at me like that, you know? Yes. He was in love with his little twink top, taller yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, he looked at his boyfriend like, he's water, you know? <laughs> yeah. Went to like, daddy. Stop it. This isn't going to be good. It's not going to be good. That was really fun. Let's go on an adventure. We can go to Coitus Tower.
We're not going to Quick Tower, we're going to Washington Square Park. Wait, hold on, stay here. I gotta take a photo. Wait, I'm actually really good at this. It says it, it says it gave me 24 exposures, I took 26 photos. It's a bridge. Oh my wow. <laughs> you recorded? Um, I might. You think it takes Venmo? <laughs> I think it's cash, grass, or ass. <laughs> grass? That doesn't make sense. Is that Alcatraz? No. Oh. <laughs> That's Treasure Island. Oh. There's a line to go to the top, so just like imagine it. Quick tower. So is this like a lighthouse or something? It's just a tower. Do you want to go to the oldest bar in America? It's not the oldest one in America. Okay. <laughs> Love the dynamic range on this. Kind of things are test. Mama, me too. Um, okay, Terrence. <laughs> Shut up. She's glowing. Oh my gosh. That was pretty. Are you religious? They're in the wrong place. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> that's our hometown. That's where we met. Uh. How, much, how much is that talking in the window? We're here at the oldest bar in America. Not America. <laughs> Fucking serving. Girl, that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Girl, that is none of your business. Serving the Lord and serving these children. <laughs> I think we can go in. Can we film inside of a church? Or is that blasphemous? The church was beautiful. I don't know if we're going to show you guys that. Hello guys, how are we doing today? Hi! Ooh. Oh, they have one of these um, 3D cameras here. That's a nice table. What about beer? Craft beer. I feel like we're in a whole nother world. Like, this doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Let's sit this here. This is not the cash for mama. Let's have a beer here just because the table is nice. Okay. So the oldest bar in America also... <laughs> so the oldest bar in America. 
We're leaving that in. Oh. <laughs> the oldest bar in America also hosted the oldest clientele in America. Um, so we decided to, to go away. But I got a Irish beer. I'm giving Galloway girl. What? This is a cult beer. You know Ed Sheeran? Anyway, um, we're just happy to be out because I live in this co-living environment that is now host of seven women. Well, seven women and Nesta. And it's just a lot to deal with. I mean, everyone's feeling the same way. They're really cool girls. We love them. But like me and Nesta were literally hiding in our room today. <laughs> like, well, Shanti lives there too. Even Shanti left. And Shanti's going to take it. And I was like begging everyone to go to the Castro last night and hang out with the boys. We hung out with Neil from the Castro vlog and my new friend Carl. I just needed to have a gaze night out. So we're happy to be out, but like, this is a little too straight. This? The Irish places. <laughs> yeah. It's like toxic straightness. It, it, it just gave, it just, I don't know. Cash only, it was cash only. <laughs> the, the old bar? No, there was crazy ass people in there. He wanted to say it because it was cash only. No, it was because there was, look. I'm still a tranny in the, in the little Italy. I don't I don't know if I... I, w I wasn't going to say it, but... <laughs> filter, filter, in the glass. There we go. <laughs> um, it's Maybe giving so. fishbowl. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. Do you guys feel like this is a calm vlog or are we just as manic as we were before. I, I really want to know. Are we leaving it like this? Mm -hmm. Hey. So I just, I'm, I hope, I hope this is coming off as, as calm. This is a calm vlog. We're so, we're tranquil. I'm always calm. You're always You're calm. the problem. You're the drama. I'm the drama? You're the villain. <laughs> I didn't say I put the tran in tranquil, but. It's not my best joke. So I guess we're gonna like drink here. I guess we can go to a place with music after this and enjoy actual, I mean, what kind of instruments do they play in Italy? Like, is it, is there, is it like, is it like the Beatles? You're really expecting someone to pop up with an accordion? Yes! It's just a lot of sports bros over here. I don't know, I don't understand it. Like, I guess Irish people love sports. Or are Italian people and Irish people the same thing? <laughs> So why are there so many Irish pubs in Little Italy? Like, North Beach isn't Little Italy. Like, Little Italy is in North Beach. I'm excited to go to Chinatown and the pier with Shanti. We can go um, it's right across the street. Yeah, subscribe for the next video. Nice stuff. While you're here, you might as well like it. I feel like we're giving you everything we have. <laughs> That's sad. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram, especially Nestor. There we go. We're going to one Irish bar, and then what do they do in Ireland? Oh, they drink beer. Ooh, Ooh that's church coming bells. at you. They're up to something. The Catholics are up to something today. The ca no, the Irish Catholics are up to something in San Francisco. Wasn't that answer? March today. No, I thought it was the Pride Walk. Or I thought it was the Life Walk. Walk of Life. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the Walk of Life is the answer. Walk? I think. Quit looking at them then. No, we smiled at each other. No. Oh. Real recognize real. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you at the next place. This is the thumbnail here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna put your put your head? Irish. 
I don't think so. Okay. Um, we're gonna end the vlog, the calm vlog here, you guys. Thanks for joining us on part two of the beautiful parts of San Francisco series. Tune in for part three. Where will we go? Will Shanti or Camille or I have Shanti be there? Or will it just be me and Esther again? Please subscribe to the channel. Please follow both Esther and I on Instagram. Subscribe to my podcast. It's called The Gag is Erica and Camille. If you believe in life after love, share this video with your friends. And don't forget about my cat's channel. Her name is Starby. The cat. Link in bio. Uh, what, what is it? Bye in Italian. Ad adios. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs>